Math is easy for some people and a real challenge for others. For most people, brokerage math is the easiest class because you calculate how you are paid. So get your calculator, paper and pencil, and let's get started. Upon completion of this class, you will be able to recite the three rules of using the multiply divide bar, compute the real estate commission that you will be paid as an agent, and compute the net to the seller math questions. We begin with a review of how to convert a decimal to a percent. For example, 6,000 divided by 100,000 equals 0 0.06. Start at the decimal point and move two places to the right. Drop the zeros and add the percent sign. 0 0.06 equals 6%. To convert a percentage to a decimal, drop the percentage sign. Start at the last whole number move it two places to the left, and if there is no number there, add a zero. Example, 6% equals 0 .06, or your calculator will probably read 0 0.06. Next, let's explore how your calculator works. Touch in 6,000, then divide, then 100,000, then the percent key. Many calculators are programmed to convert the number to a percent if you touch the percent key instead of the equal key. If your calculator is not programmed to perform this function, then you will need to mentally convert your answer into a percent. To convert a fraction to a decimal equivalent, divide the top number by the bottom number. Examples, 7 divided by 8 equals 0 0.875 or 87.5%. Or 5 divided by 9 equals 0 0.55555 equals 55.56%. In these classes, we will round up if the numbers are 5 or above and drop the remaining numbers if below 5. Examples. 6 divided by 7 equals 0 0.857142 equals 85.71% or 14 divided by 15 equals 0 0.93333 equals 93.33%. Or 7 divided by 9 equals 0 0.77777 equals 77.78%. Always Check the numbers in your calculator before touching the next number or function. If one number is incorrect, the rest of the calculation is incorrect. Next, we introduce the multiply divide bar that is used to work many of the math questions, but not all of them. If the question or answer has a percent or a fraction that can be converted to a percent, you can probably use the multiply divide bar. For many people, the biggest challenge of word problems is converting the numbers into a picture. The multiply divide bar provides a system for analyzing the questions and converting them into a picture. It really does make real estate math very easy. The total is the whole pot. The pot represents the total amount of money, number of apartments, etc. The name of this pot will change based on the math question we are working. The part is taken from the pot, and the name of this part will change based on the math question that we are working. 
the rate is a percentage or a fraction that can be converted to a percent. This is where the total rate and part are placed in the multiply divide bar. The total represents the whole pot, so it is the big number. The part represents a part of the pot, so it's a little number. And the rate represents the percent or fraction that can be converted to a percent. Here are the rules for using the multiply divide bar. Rule one, when you have the total and the rate, your math function is multiplication. Rule two, when you have the part and one of the numbers at the bottom, your math function is division. Rule three, TGIF, top goes in first. If you have the part, it is always touched into your calculator first, and then your math function is division. These next examples are easy, but they show how easy it is to use the multiply divide bar, which we are going to shorten to the acronym MDB. You can probably work this next question in your head, but let's analyze it and place the numbers in the MDB. We want you to have a system for working all of the math questions. Example. A house sold for $100,000 and the brokerage was paid a 7% commission. How much did the brokerage earn? After you read the question, analyze the numbers in the question and the answers. The $100,000 is the big number, so it is the total and goes in the lower left. The 7% is the rate, so it goes in the lower right. Rule 1. When you have the total and the rate, your math function is multiplication. $100,000 times 7% equals $7,000. A picture is worth a thousand words, so here's one more way to look at the math questions. The total can represent any number, whether that is $100,000, $1 million, or a $1 sale price. As a percentage, the total is always 100%. In our example, the commission is 7%, which represents $7,000 of the sale price. Remember, we always compare apples to apples. And if the rate in the lower right is the commission rate, then the number or part is the commission dollars. Here's the next way this question could be asked. We know you know the answer, but let's work through it in the multiply divide bar. Example, a broker was paid $7,000 in commission. The rate the seller agreed to pay was 7%. What was the sale price? After reading the question, analyze the numbers in the question and the answers. Where do they go? in the multiply divide bar. The $7,000 is the little number, so it goes at the top. The 7% is the rate, so it goes in the bottom right. And rule three, TGIF, top goes in first. If you have the part, it is always touched into your calculator first, and your math function is division. $7,000 divided by 7% equals a $100,000 sale price. Here's our final example for learning how to use a multiply divide bar. A broker's commission check was for $7,000. The sale price was $100,000. What was the commission rate? Remember, Always start by analyzing the numbers in the question and the answers. The $7,000 is the little number, so it goes at the top. The $100,000 is the big number, so it goes in the lower left. Rule 3, TGIF, top goes in first. If you have the part, it's always touched into your calculator first and your math function is division. 
$7,000 divided by $100,000 equals 0.07 or 7%. This basic multiply divide bar is adapted to many different real estate math formulas. The following slide shows how it is used to compute your real estate commission. Sale price times commission rate equals commission dollars. Commission dollars divided by sale price equals commission rate. Commission dollars divided by commission rate equals sale price. When you know one multiply divide bar, you really know three formulas. When you analyze the numbers in the question, you determine which formula you use. Let's introduce one more concept before you start working the questions. Listed price versus selling price. Properties usually sell for less than the listed price, but sometimes they sell for more than the listed price. The multiply divide bar formula for computing the sales price are listed price times percent of listed price equals sale price. Sale price divided by listing price equals percent of listed price. Sale price divided by percent of listed price equals listed price. Hint, if there are two percentages in the question, you will probably use two multiply divide bars. Now it's time for you to work some math questions.